Hi everyone, I'm here with uh, Yella from, from Dusk. Um, last time we uh, spoke, it was on the noisy streets of Shoreditch <laughs> in some strange meetup space, so a lot's happened since then in the industry. And, Correct. Uh, it's great to welcome you back to London. Um, you were the first token seller on FNX Catalyst uh, a few months ago, so it'd yeah. um, be really good to get an update, find out what you're up to and uh, sort of what's on the roadmap and, and go from that. Yeah, no pleasure, and uh, thanks for having me. Obviously, uh, always good to be back at uh, at the Ethernex events. <laughs> uh, I think our catalyst sale, we probably ran it around November, December timeline, right thereabouts. And well, actually, quite a lot has happened since. So, um, Dust Network, for the people that don't know, is a is a permissionless uh, blockchain uh, that's very much privacy oriented, uh, and we're kind of building it from the ground up. So, we're doing a lot of novel cryptography and mathematics. And it's really technology for the for security space. So we're hearing a lot about security tokens, digital securities, and uh, what well, we see a big opportunity for a kind of a, a specific protocol that you know that takes regulations and uh, things like privacy into account from the get go. So that's that's kind of what we're building in a nutshell. And the past few months have been uh, quite good in that regard. So. Um, when we're talking technology roadmap, uh, back in November, December, we were kind of working up to uh, our restricted uh, developers net that we were releasing, and now we're basically on a uh, almost finished test net. Uh, so the consensus is running, it's working, all the kind of uh, uh, novel stuff that was a very difficult white paper six months ago is now uh, holding up uh, in the wild. Uh, in a well, not completely in the wild. It's a test environment, but uh, you know the block times are good. Uh, everything is being delivered, so we have our uh, consensus done. Uh, we have a lot of our crypto uh, cryptographic modules done. Uh, basically, prepping everything for public release now, so it's all being so open source. The first guys to implement bulletproofs on a sort of yeah public yeah. Public so public. so so we use a lot of uh, zero knowledge proof, and then there's the, a few flavors like Snarks and Starks, and uh, but we're very much in the in, in the in the bulletproof space. And well, I'll, I'll main net is a few months off, but it, it, it looks like we'll be the first real world implementation of bulletproof beyond range proof. Uh, we use it in our consensus in the smart contracting layer, that kind of stuff, and that's really where the where the building is at now, starting on the uh, testing the smart contract layers at a zero knowledge virtual machine. Um, really going from uh, well, yeah, the foundational building blocks uh, to the, well, the layer that will get used, um, where, you know, by uh, companies that want to issue a security, like you know, a stock or a bond or uh, you name it. Uh, then that smart contracting layer is kind of the piece that will really uh, come to life for them. Uh, so technically, very much on track, very exciting. We're still working with very exciting people in the space, implementing new hashing algorithms, all, all, the, all the kind of uh, techy stuff. Um, but there's a lot of novelty value there, and there's a lot of uh, technical prowess being thrown at it, uh, but it's really starting to come together, so it's very, very exciting technically. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been keeping track of all the developer updates, and the amount that you guys build every week is just <laughs> insane. Um, yeah. before we, so we don't go down the rabbit hole, maybe. Um, <laughs> would you be able to talk a little bit around sort of the, the you know, on the business side of things? Because, you know, not, novel tech is incredible. It's, you know, no yeah. one's doing this, but, you know, are you, how are you, are you running into problems? Uh, what's your sort of business roadmap like? Are you seeing good interest? You know, how are the regulations working out for you? This sort of thing. It'd be really yeah. nice to think, give everyone a bit of a flavor around that. Yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll try and start at very high level, just a few seconds on kind of how we see the space and kind of the strategy that we're, uh, that we're applying to it. So uh, on the protocol level, we, we know we can have uh, a clear differentiating product, if you will, right? So kind of this technical superiority, it's kind of what we're going for, kind of the thought leadership. And, and we're quite confident that we can make uh, that work and, and that there's a lot of space to differentiate in. But that's kind of, that's going to move much more to the background, right? It's going to be something that you use uh, to achieve certain things. But yeah, it's, it's finite, if you will. Uh, and, and then when we look at the securities ecosystem, you can roughly divide it in primary markets, so where stuff gets issued, you know, initial shares get issued, or bonds, or you name it, and the secondary market, so where it gets traded. Now we also see a lot of players in the primary market, mm -hmm. um, but, but we think that that is probably the one that will commoditize fastest, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the most saturated. Uh, it's the easiest to do. It's almost. the easiest to yeah. do, exactly, and, and, and the big differentiator is more around your legal know-how, or maybe the, the relationships you have with people, uh, rather than anything technical or kind of in that space, right? So, 
and, and if you're helping a company to issue a security, for example, you you need to you know build a relationship with the people there. Uh, so that means that for us, as kind of a very tech-driven company, that doesn't scale in the way that we're good at, basically, because it's very horizontal, right? You need more people, basically, and yeah, and we don't see a huge differentiator there. But when you look at secondary markets, which is much more uh, to do um, with also technological advancements, uh, regulatory. Uh, that kind of stuff. There we see quite a lot of potential. It's much harder to enter mm -hmm. because you need licenses, all that kind of uh, good stuff. Um, and we think that a, a strong presence there will also create much more of kind of a pull factor on issuers mm -hmm. rather than, uh, you know, kind of a push factor from the uh, protocol side. Um, so in primary, we're, we're building big partnerships with the firms that do this, you know, 10 times better than we do. Mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, a deal flow. Uh, they do issuance. Uh, we want them to use our solution. Mm -hmm. uh, so much more of a kind of B2B type partner channel. And then a secondary, uh, yeah, we're aiming to have a presence there and, and, and we're hoping to have some news out on that uh, somewhere early summer, kind of next two to three months. Um, so that's kind of the strategy. And then, you know, the actual name. So we have quite a few propositions in the pipeline that want to do this issuance and, yeah. and, and ideally then go on to the secondary market liquidity. Uh, there's a few that are public, like BWRE, uh, the, the, uh, the real estate, real estate yeah. and uh, short stay subletting mm -hmm. uh, business. Uh, but there's also a lot of them uh, signed, ready to go, being worked on that aren't public yet. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's the security space. It's always a little bit trickier yeah, to, go, well, you know, yeah, to go public with these things. Uh, but the business traction is, is picking up very, very nicely. Uh, we have a few very big issuance partnerships, uh, basically done and dusted. Very keen to start announcing those, uh, and like I said, the the, the the secondary market stuff as well. So that's kind of the business adoption BD side, if you will. Of, just a, of the, just a yeah. is it um, companies that haven't issued equity at all before, or is it a combination of people like that and also people that are, they want to sort of port what they've got at the moment over onto? Yeah, so we see we see companies willing uh, willing to port, and those are usually uh, much bigger companies. Yeah. So they have this illiquidity issue, if you will. Uh, so they see a lot of value there, and then the smaller propositions are generally kind of more all or nothing, if you yeah. will. So they kind of do the whole thing, um, also because it's well, they kind of have a clean slate ish. So it's it's much easier to do. Um, awesome. But yeah, that's kind of the flavors we see, and and, and then. On the crypto side, we're obviously also kickstarting a lot of the kind of crypto-specific business development, if you will. So that's um, uh, working on a wide uh, exchange adoption for the coin. Uh, we are talking to a lot of the the, the hardware ledger uh, manufacturers, if you will. It's uh, for Dusk token. Yeah, for yeah. Dusk, the coin, the, the, the powers our network. So the other piece is kind of the business adoption traction. This yeah. is kind of pure crypto stuff. So obviously we need to be on the you know on the ledgers of the world, uh, you know the, the the hardware security devices, uh, on, on on the exchanges, on the uh, the staking websites, uh, all that kind of uh, user friendly yeah. uh, uh, infrastructure that you also want to have. Uh, so those are kind of the two tracks uh, on the on the business side, if you will. And how big is the team at the moment? Because this is a this is a lot. This is a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we we keep ourselves busy. Uh, so it's still uh, tech dominant the team. So our our, our dev team is uh, uh, well, let's say uh, close to fifteen people, and then our business and legal team is around ten. So we're uh, kind of in the twenty twenty five zone. Yeah. That's amazing. No, that's, that's awesome. It sounds really really exciting. <laughs> uh, is there anything else that you want to add as a sort of final word, or um, what are you sort of most excited about personally? You know, what's the sort of thing that you're like? This is going to be the moment where I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Without giving away anything that you can't right. say. <laughs> well, no, I like the fact that we can really see, and this is on my kind of timeline, yeah. so it's never you know as quick as you want it. <laughs> but uh, in the next few months, we can really start going public with a few very yeah. very cool things. And, and you know, my frustration or my desire is always yeah, to yeah. be able to share. You know, this is what we're working on. It's so it's so cool. Yeah. Um, but you, you sometimes you just can't. Yeah. Uh, but now it's actually kind of uh, coming up. So. It, it's the full unveiling of the code. It's very exciting. It's all into the public. People can really see, uh, you know, this is what they've built. So yeah, now it's still awesome. in kind of select circles yeah. and working with other projects or universities and, you know, on, on these things. And the same goes for the business side. So for me, it's kind of more general the fact that we're moving towards 
uh, mainnet a few months from now, and this will be accompanied with similar kind of you know business announcement to kickstart the traction. So you know it intertwines neatly, um, and it will just be an extremely exciting summer for us. So if anything, it's that yeah. amazing, awesome. <laughs> And where do where do people find out more about you? What's the best way to get in touch? Or well, the website is dusk.network, uh, and then we are extremely active on Medium. Uh, that's where you'll find most of the long form stuff. Uh, otherwise, we have a pretty good presence in uh, on, on Twitter and in, uh, in our Telegram group. So those are probably the main channels. Amazing! Thank you very much for coming down. Look forward to catching up with you in a couple of months. Yeah, absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me.